Hello everyone, my name is Droogy Forever, and today we're playing Daylight. This is a game um, that I'm playing on the PS5, uh, but it is available on the PS4, um, if you'd rather play it there. Um, it apparently has some unexpected behavior on the PS5, and you can see that logo kind of looked a little weird. I think that was part of it. Um, I have not played this on the channel ever, but this was one of the first horror games I got on the PlayStation 4, and I enjoyed it. It's been a long time since I played it. Um, I don't remember a ton about it. I remember liking it. Uh, it has some element of, um, what do you call it? Uh, procedural generation, I think, in, in the levels. Yeah, see, it's got that weird... I don't think that's supposed to be there. I could be wrong. Yeah, that weird line must be part of the problems it's, it mentioned. Interesting. Prisoner 52 seems to be experiencing visions of shadow people. Doctors on site keep trying conventional therapies, but I believe we need to start thinking about new procedures that push what we've come up with to date. Oh, no. Ooh, uh, sensitivity on the right stick needs turned down a little bit, I think. Um, it's a little sensitive. It's, it's pretty... Also, it's very jittery, like stuttery. Mid-Island Penitentiary hires new head physician, Walter Mercer, known as a leader in both smallpox and tuberculosis research. Okay. Was there anything upstairs? Should I go up there first before we... Before we proceed... Picture of a dead cow, it looks like. Run. That just said run. Interesting. How do I go through the doors? Do I have to use the glow stick? Okay, I guess you have to use the glow stick before you can uh, proceed. Patient, age 10 months old, has been readmitted by her foster parents due to odd and frightening incidents that occurred shortly after she left the hospital. I don't know if I should go this way or that way. Yeah, that line's gonna get annoying. I wonder why that's there. Wait. 
No, it's up here. Just out of curiosity, what are my settings? Music dialogues, subtitles, real 3D. Actually, we're going to turn the brightness up. Controls. Ah, it doesn't let me set it. Fly changes. What's real 3D? Whoa, okay. Turn that off. Uh. What the hell? That was strange. I think I saw that thing you were talking about the other day. I don't know what the hell it is, but it ain't a person. It just stared at me, and it then disappeared when I shined my light on it. Billy says I was seeing shadows, but I know what I saw. Something's not right down there. I'm putting in a transfer request. Found a flare. Whoa. There's a needle. Can't pick it up though. Uh oh. Wait, there was more to explore back there, but that crazy ghost thing was there. It was this way. History of New Kipling. Uh, that one doesn't seem very interesting. Just want to skip it. Patients physically healthy but deteriorating mentally. Remains in a straitjacket. Continually yells that the maze is never ending. Interesting. Ooh. What do we got here? A room full of light. I remember I gotta bring something here, I think. Uh, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's bugs. Okay. I was like, what the hell? Oh shit. Oh no, this is a dead end too. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted. Village of New Kipling traced its roots to the mid 1600s. Rich fishing source, along with easy access to trade routes, drew early settlers. You see the sigil? Is that what this thing is? Oh. Where's the fucking. Okay. Uh, there's no sigil here, so I guess this is the gateway. He said he saw the sigil, though. Oh, I didn't know I could go in here. Okay, I don't think I can get to that door, so... I don't think this place is useful.
I don't know. Hold on, so where, where is the sigil? Shouldn't it have been in that room with the light that we were in? But it wasn't in there. I didn't see it in there anywhere. What is this? Oh! Please God, make it stop. That scared me, I wasn't expecting it. Patient aged seven years, has been experiencing a fear of monsters in a room. Um, patient's been restrained. Yeah, this is the door, but... We've been in there. This is a dead end. So where's the damn sigil? Oh God. Damn it, I'm gonna waste all my flares. Oh my God. What was that sound? There it is. Oh. Wait, no, I can't pick it up. There we go. So it's there once you find the door. That's weird. Oh god. What the hell? Things got weird. Uh-oh. I can't get out. I see you. Where's the doorway? It's down this way somewhere. Last night at 7 p.m. power went off. We were unable to transfer a critical patient to the emergency department. He passed away in transit in the hallway beyond the records room security door to avoid this type of tragedy in the future. Hospital has decided non-maintenance staff should be aware the security door will not operate when the power is out. You must reset the breaker before using the door. Familiarize yourself with the power switch's location within the records room stacks. Doesn't seem to be working yet. Uh, pick it up. We understand it's difficult to make it outside on your 10 minute breaks. However, just because the records room is large and has high ceilings does not mean you can move things about and create a satellite break room for smoking. We've got several staff members moving supply crates, stacking them precariously and climbing over them to serve as lookout. Be advised this is not gym equipment. Climbing on crates of medical supplies will not be tolerated. All right, so that switch is not working. Let me... Okay, there's two ways to go over there. I cannot go through that door, and there's no way back out that way. <clears throat> and I can't go this way. Alright, there's only one way to go. And then I guess we gotta come back for that switch at some point. Miss Daniels was found dead in her staff quarters this morning. There was a suicide note indicating she was unhappy at work and in her personal life. Personnel on site 
state that she died from rapid blood loss caused by self-inflicted lacerations on her wrist. Body was found sitting in a wheelchair pending a police investigation. Miss Daniels' body was transported to the morgue. This is eerily similar to the other instances. Well, that's no good. Mid Island Hospital is one of the most locally influential and medically profound places in our city's history, yet few people know how important its presence has been. From treating smallpox in the 1850s to contributing to, per to tuberculosis research in more recent years, the hospital has done much to benefit the citizens of New Kipling. Even its brief, if failed, attempt at reopening as a penitentiary helped to keep our citizens safe. Kipling's citizens accused crimes, 16-year-old girl allowed to live, admits guilt, condemned to hang, evil, hospital, open to deal with spread of disease. It was mostly blotted out, I guess. Stop! Stop! I can't move. While on nightly rounds, Nurse Moriarty noticed patient 90D standing in his room in an agitated state. The nurse claimed the man was beating his face against the mesh, protecting the glass. She screamed for help. By the time we arrived, the patient's face was completely covered in blood. He was raving about faces in the dark. The patient was quickly subdued and taken to the infirmary, where the attending physician reported he will likely lose both eyes. The patient did not seem bothered by this, recommending transfer to Dr. Mercer's care. And then there is the hospital as it stands today, abandoned and referred to by the locals as Crow Island for its ominous bird population. The hospital and the island it sits on are now more synonymous with rumors about curses and hauntings. There's hardly a youth in New Kipling who does not entertain the rite of passage of sneaking into the abandoned building. And the stories they concoct about hearing voices, smelling cigar smoke, or even seeing women's shadows wandering the hallways have done little to preserve the reputation of this once life-saving pillar of our community. Uh, patients have taken their pills and are all settled in after evening meals. Dyer refuses to check on patient 90D after the incident. He spat blood all over and yelled some gibberish about casting a spell. Today's my first day observing patient 90D. He seemed high strung and ready to snap, except towards Patrice. She is oddly special to him. Okay, it's over there. I don't know how to get over there. I haven't seen a way through. We're back at the beginning again. Is there a way to climb that I'm not aware of? Or... There's no way to crouch. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Um, damn it. Oh. Climb. Oh, I gotta push it, I think. Whoa, 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 hey. So you need the glow stick so you can see some of these these things, I guess. Climb. Thank you. I didn't even realize. Let's be out of the dark make you feel better. Well, it shouldn't. Let's hope everything's set up over here, and then I don't have to uh, push anything else. Alright, good. Whoa. Just 
just a picture. Another picture. See something up here somewhere. It's another one of those rooms. Sheridan Church of New Kipling pronounced that a dark time had engulfed the town, prompting some inhabitants to flee in fear for their lives. In order to keep the peace, the local church and town elders instated mandatory church attendance laws. Oh, fuck that. There's something going on down in the boiler room. I keep hearing things moving around down there while I'm cleaning, and I swear it ain't rats. It's something bigger. I don't know what yet, but keep an eye out when you're down there. Oh, shit. This is a dead end, too. Wait a minute, how's that possible? Whoa. Okay. Dr. Watkins recommended removal of all possessions from patient's room as a means of curing her fantasies. Patient became violent during extractions. He seemed particularly fixated on an old doll, cried for days after its removal. I'm done dealing with this hospital. I ain't dealing with this crap anymore. I saw something down in that boiler room, and one of the orderlies saw it too. It ain't right, and I'm not staying here to find out its intentions. Okay, so these are dead ends. Uh, that's a dead end, I think. So I gotta go this way. Oof. That was close. I was hoping some of these would give me glow sticks. Okay, I don't have time to read that right now. Open it. Open this. How many of these are there? Oh god. Yeah, you said that last time and it wasn't nearby. got stuck against the door for a second there. There's the door. Alright. So, now I just gotta make it back, right? Hopefully. Please tell me that's what I need to do. Oh shit, wrong way.
I am having trouble remembering which way it was. Let me look at my map. I can't even tell where I am on this fucking map. Where am I? Okay. Wait. Is it up here? I don't... No, 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 no. No. It's this way, and then, like, left. It's through here. I'm going the wrong way again. God damn it. Uh, I can't use my fucking flare. Shit. I can't use the flare. And I don't know where the fucking thing is. It's not here. It's not here. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Thank God. All right. Actually, let's light that. There we go. Okay. Maintenance staffs finished the modifications to your office you asked for, also per your request. I've made sure to only let certain staff work on small parts of the larger project. Your new desk should be fully functional now. Prisoner 85 has been under my direct observation for the past week. No change in temperament. He seems to have contracted some sort of virus causing fever and incoherent ranting. He's currently receiving treatment by the nurses. I'll reevaluate his condition after the study has been completed. Patient 9F admitted with burns on over 60% of body, skin graft underway. Patient is refusing treatment and talks constantly about visions, but we're proceeding anyway. Sometimes it's not about what the patient wants, but about doing whatever it takes to make them better. recently come to my attention that much of this staff, yourself included, has been getting a bit too comfortable spreading rumors. I don't need to remind you how well you and the others have it here compared to the disease-ridden mainland, do I? Yes, we've had wealth, a wealth of issues with the inmates and some of our more colorful patients. Yes, we've had to turn to drastic measures to deal with them occasionally. But I need everyone here behind me if we're going to keep this place running. I'm doing everything I can. M. Alright, should I go through there? Or should I... Keep exploring. Whoa. What happened? Patient 13, such an ominous number. Hospital records indicate this number is typically attributed to particularly troubled patients. Current case is no exception given the nature of her birth. I foresee many institutions, bad decisions, and more in our future. Sometimes I find myself wondering if some people's inner turmoil is beyond any human help. Alright, there's nothing up there. Alright, how do I drop the glow stick? Or can I... Uh, triangle. There we go. Okay. Get another one. Okay. Since I knew it was going to run out soon, I figured I may as well do that now, so I'm fully stocked. Can't open those? Okay. Uh, 
Numerous reports of electrical outages, cell doors opening and closing on their own, and other electrical issues have been logged and reported. Maintenance will be conducting tests on the prison wiring and circuit boards tomorrow. Okay, so this is going to be fun. James Stryker suspension. Officer Stryker has currently been suspended without pay until further notice. Formal investigation into accusations of overly brutal punishments on prisoners and torture tactics is currently underway. Investigation to be carried out in-house only. Public knowledge to be kept to a minimum. Fuck you. Go away. Fuck off. I don't think it can come in this room. That's the only reason I fucking came in here. Alright. Um. Whoa. Jeez, man. Oh God, what was that? I don't know. Whoa. Glow sticks going. I'll light another one, but this area is pretty big and I'm worried about running out. Um, this way, I think I've mostly been, so let's, let's head this way. Another big room, identical to the other one. Okay. I Glow here. stick. Did it again. I knew that guard was up to no good. When I received my food yesterday, I found a worm inside the mashed potatoes. Disgusting. I know that it's the guard because when he hands the tray of food to me, he says eat up buttercup with his evil look in his eyes. I'll gouge his eyes out tomorrow. I should probably stop I opening those. I don't know if we can accept more inmates. Uh, I hear somebody too, so I'm going to stop reading that. Bitch. There's something here. Okay, maybe not. Oh, Whoa! Jesus. Okay, here's the gate. So now we just gotta go back and find the item. I have no idea where it was, but it's back this way somewhere. Hello. I'm only going through the open doors. Oh, Jesus. Damn it. Uh, what? My thing's not here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. But I found the door! Oh no, what? Oh, that makes me not want to play anymore. That's ridiculous. I don't understand why. No, damn it! 
Just as it fucking goes out, really? Really? The hell, man? Okay, they're getting like, there's way too many of them. I'm not gonna be able to defend myself. I'm gonna die. Alright, come on. Where's the one it wants me to find? Because this is ridiculous. Great, and there goes my flare. I know oh, fuck off. There. Fuck off! God damn it! It's ridiculous! Yeah, you said that last time, and then fucking... I wasn't able to do anything with it. See, I can't do anything. Yes, you say that over and over and over again. So he said the sigil was there now. Shit. Damn it. I'm gonna be out of flares in a second. He said the sigil was there now, so I wonder... If now that he said that, if it'll be here. Yep. Unbelievable. Now that he had to say it, which is so stupid. Fuck off. I can't believe he had to just say it. That's so dumb. Shit. Fucking hell. Go away! I know there's somebody here. Yeah, I do too. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh god. Great. Unavailable while holding the sigil. There was nothing I could do. Fucking unbelievable. Why are there so many on that level? That's so annoying. They're fucking everywhere. Like, how are you supposed to combat that? Like, seriously, what am I supposed to do about that? So I can't get the sigil again. I have to find the fucking... Oh my god. What a pain in the ass. I shouldn't open those when I'm full, even though I want to find the notes. I shouldn't. It'd be better for me in the long run if I don't. Shit. God damn it. Where you at? I know she's here somewhere. Alright, here it is. So why is he not saying it's the sigil? He needs to say it. That's the only way this works. Whoa. Damn it, you're wasting my flare in this stupid hallucination.
He's still not saying it. I need you to say it. Come on, man. I need you to say that the sigil is here. Maybe I need the glow stick lit up. Of course she comes as soon as I light the fucking thing. Go away. God damn it, I need to go that way. And she's gone. I don't know what to do, he won't say it! I'm not gonna go all the way back and then all the way back here and then all the way back again. You need to fix your shit, man. Come on. That's the room I started in. How that door was closed then, I have no idea. See, it's not here. He has to say it. He's not saying it. Why is he not saying it? That's what I want to know. Why is he not saying it? <gasps> Come on, dude. Say it. Oh, you're unbearable. You're unbearable. <gasps> this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. He's just refusing to fucking say it. I, I don't know how I'm going to be able to proceed if he doesn't fucking say it. I know there's somebody here. I'm going to be lost by the time he does fucking say it, if he ever says it. starting to wonder if the whole goal isn't just to make you open as many doors as possible first. Jesus Christ. Alright, been everywhere now, can you... Be great if you could say it now. Kind of uh, out of things to do. Ugh, this game's broken. The fucked up thing is, when you light a glow stick, they tend to come faster. No, 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 no. Open. No. Come on, oh my god, this sucks. Come on, dude. Just fucking say it. Thought it was gone when I stopped hearing it. Apparently not. Oh, fuck you. You just made me waste a flare. Come on. This is ridiculous. 
I've been on this level for fucking 30 minutes. Why is this not going forward? Why is it doing this? Is it broken? What? How did it hit me? You're really pissing me off. Yeah, I know. I'd love to. I'd absolutely love to. Seems to be an impossibility, though. Fuck you, man. This sucks. It does. This really sucks. I don't know what else to do. I, I I'm. I think I should just restart because it's just like broken. We've been everywhere. We've been in every door. For whatever reason, he just refuses to fucking say the phrase so that we can move on. Anybody there? Oh, thank God. Now I don't know where the door is, though. Now I'm all kinds of confused about where the door is. Such brutality, corruption, and chaos. The curse grew stronger as time went on. With each year further tightening its grip, they built steel cages to contain its resolve. Damn it. Isolation, reckless abandon. The city would burn with hatred and fear. Ah, uh, I can't move. No, no. Damn it, we're dead. I'm done. I can't keep doing this. This is ridiculous, man. I don't remember having this much trouble with it, but it wasn't this broken. You can clearly see on the PlayStation 5, it's got serious issues with lines going across, and God knows what else that's affecting, because it seems broken. Like, I, I just can't proceed. Uh, so, that's Daylight. I really wanted to show you guys the rest of the game, because it's actually not bad. So maybe I'll break out the PS4 one of these days. And, uh, and try to finish it, because that, that was terrible. But um, the game overall isn't bad. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, tell that like button you want to smash, and don't forget to subscribe. You stay you, I'll stay me, Droogie forever. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video. Later.